Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh friends Today I have Devault BCB107 It is lithium ion battery charger It is not working It is 115 volt operated So I connected it So there is no indication The battery tested another charger That charger is working now I removed power When you are working on power electronics, take care for safety. Always use isolation transformer. So I have this 115 volt socket. First I am going to open it. And then I will show you. I connected it. AC input I have 114 volt 115 volt so we will check DC voltage there is no DC voltage on the main capacitor so I connected battery but I don't have voltage on main DC capacitor bulk capacitor I don't have any voltage so I have to check it let's see the circuit this is our input line this line input line and input line exact after the input line there is a fuse set multimeter to continuity the power is removed the fuse is open just for testing I will make a jumper to the fuse I will use this one ampere fuse wire this is soft wire this one ampere bus fuse wire this bus fuse wire so I will connect one ampere wire here in the place of this fuse and then I will replace this fuse so for verification if there is just only this fuse burn out or we have some other, another issue so I will connect this need very low temperature set soldering iron at 300 degrees centigrade at high temperature this fuse will not make joint it will burn out so we have something wrong in the circuit our fuse fuse wire burn out one ampere fuse was wire burn out the original fuse was two ampere so two ampere is full load I applied connected one ampere fuse wire so that means we have something wrong yes if I see the main DC capacitor is also swollen so we have to remove it it is 68 volt 200 microfarad always take care for polarity even though the polarity is mentioned on the on the board as well negative and positive and here you have to take care for the polarity as well before testing 
short the both leads to capacitor it is open it's open check the bridge how we will check the bridge set voltmeter to diode connect one lead to the capacitor one terminal this diode is good connect to other terminal this diode is good reverse the leads connect at one terminal this diode is short so two diodes are good in the bridge rectifier here two diodes are good and two diodes are giving short circuit check again we removed capacitor from this point connect to input terminal in diode board open connect to positive terminal it's giving short it is giving short connect to this terminal one diode is giving ok second diode is giving ok so we have two diodes short circuit in the bridge so we have to replace these two diodes and this capacitor because when the diode bridge rectifier burns the diode short become short and pairs so we will remove these diodes and we will connect two diodes and our problem will be solved from this terminal to this terminal it is short it's giving short so two diodes connected to this terminal one and two the central two diodes so I removed both diodes these are short from these uh, central two diodes here and here it is short this diode is short so I removed two diodes from this power supply these two are here it's ok it's ok friends I replaced these two short diodes these two diodes were short circuit so I removed these two diodes here and this capacitor it was 68 microfarad 200 volt so I replaced it with 68 200 I replaced it 68 400 capacitance value must be same and now I connected a fuse bus 1 ampere bus wire fuse wire 1 ampere fuse wire 1 ampere so I connected here to test it because the original fuse is 2 ampere so I connected this one now I will connect I will connect power now DC it's 160 volt that's nice it means our battery pack will be charged now I am connecting power power pack battery pack I connected it here oh that's nice red LED is blinking so red LED is blinking that means the pack is charging when it will stable the red LED will stable that means it is charged it is now blinking that means it is charging the original fuse is here it is open 
and I found the same fuse but the design is different this is the original 2 ampere 250 volt 2 ampere 250 volt so I will use this round shape so friends our battery has been charged fully before that it was blinking flashing now the light is steady when it was blinking that means pack charging now the pack charged because it is steady light so this time the battery is full we have to remove the battery Now I used some battery, it started charging, that means our this system is recovered successfully. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.